All right, everybody, this is Gustavo Tolosa, the founder of this page, Dr. Starch, based on the Starch solution. And today I'm going to show you my favorite, one of my favorite lunches, which I made with two large potatoes. And then this is a butternut squash, and I used one of this. You can use more. It all depends how much wind, how much of this butternut squash you want to use. Sometimes I put more, sometimes I put less. Today I put just one of these circles. And I peel the potatoes, but you don't have to. And then I cut them in smaller pieces and I put them in the instant pot for about 11 minutes. I don't know why, but I... I like that number and it usually works pretty well. So it's cooked, I'm opening it and I put just enough water for the pressure to gather and cook, but I don't put a lot of water because I want my potatoes to be creamy and not watery. So um, if, if I end up with more water than I want, I just take it out and I keep it in a bowl in case I need it for extra moisture. And then um, there it is. So I start, this looks pretty good to me. It's, I think everything has absorbed the water. So this is going to be very creamy, I can tell. And you, if you haven't tried this, this mixture of the potatoes and the butternut squash with that uh, hint of sweetness makes it not only gives it an incredible flavor but it also helps in the texture of the creaminess um, so i know that i'm not the only one who makes it this way but i just remember my dear grandmother <laughs> uh, that I watch her so much cook, she would make it many times this way. Of course, sometimes just the potatoes. So there it is. Now for the spices, what do I like to put? I like to put some onion powder. And I say some because, you know, I don't measure it anymore. It may be a teaspoon, maybe, maybe a tablespoon but I, I'm not, you're gonna have to find your, your own, uh, you know, amount of how much you like. The other thing I put is smoked paprika. And this one, you might have to be a little more careful. Start with a teaspoon and see if you want more. And then the magic touch is just a tiny bit of nutmeg, just a dash, boom, like that, maybe two. And I also put some black pepper. So um, I have already combined those and I have it in this little container. And let's see. That's probably a tablespoon. Okay, if you are using salt, then you can add some salt. Um, Dr. McDougall says that he's, his point always is to get people to eat the food, even if it takes a little bit of salt, because he wants them to see the benefits of eating plant-based. Then later on, your taste bud gets adjusted and you use less and less. So there it is, very creamy. And... Um, I have my bowl here and I make garlic sauteed spinach. Hold on just a second. So I saute the garlic. I put four, five, six cloves and, it's, and it is dry saute with, a, with some little bit of water. You don't want boiled garlic. And then I have spinach that I have cooked and then I chop it. 
and I saute with the garlic. So uh, you can actually put this spinach here and mix everything, which I've done many times, or you can serve yourself a generous amount of this marvelous mashed potatoes. And then on the side, you put your greens, which I think are a must for many reasons, but especially if you want heart health. I'm going to try the mashed potatoes by themselves first. Mm. I can eat this literally every day. Uh, creamy, creamy, creamy. Mm. And you have the potato with that hint of the sweetness of the butternut squash and the um, spices. And now a bite with the sauteed spinach and garlic. The starch solution. I cannot tell you how it can get any better. So people talk about how potatoes are fattening. Potatoes are not fattening. What is fattening? It's what people put on the potatoes. You might want to remind people who say that. It's that butter, that cheese, the cream, uh, the sour cream, the meat, every, the oil, everything that you put on the potato and in the potato is what makes the potato fattening. But it's not this potato. This potato is mostly fiber and water with a lot of nutrients that can keep me and you alive for the rest of our lives if that's all we had to eat. So enjoy everyone and make sure that you watch the truth about weight loss, which is not only about weight loss, it's about how to obtain vibrant health and keep it that way. The link is below in another post that I put in this page. Let's see if I see any comments. Thank you everyone for watching. See you in my next Facebook Live. Bye-bye.